guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here and are not a faithful and would like to become one please hit that subscribe button and if you like this video of course hit that like button i would really appreciate it um i am trying new things today yay for new things new adventures so as you can see if you are a faithful this is not my normal setup because I bought a green screen because I thought it would be fun and I like the cool backgrounds. So that's the first new thing. And the second new thing I'm doing is this is my first YouTube collab video. Yay for YouTube collab, guys. I'm so excited to be collabing with this awesome woman. Her name is Army Princess. If you have not checked out her channel, her link will be down below. I figured this would be a good idea because we have a few things in common. We both know what the army wife life is like and we both know what the army is like. But our stories are not the same. They are very different. That's why I had a few questions for her. I just wanted to get the scoop on her army experience, her army wife experience, some information I wanted to know and maybe you want to know too. So if you do, please click that link below. She would appreciate it, I'm sure. But the question she added for me, I am going to answer right now for you guys. So you get to learn a little bit more about myself. Okay. Question number one, why did I join the army over other branches? I knew I was never gonna join the Navy or the Marines or the Coast Guard. They just did not appeal to me for several different reasons. Did not join the Air Force because for future plans, the Army just worked best for me. And I feel like I can handle it. And I'm very proud of it. I'm excited to be a soldier. Um, question number two. Why did you join the reserves? So, I joined the reserves because I knew I would not be able to go to school and work full-time and my main focus right now is getting my master's degree in social work so I really want to do that um, maybe in the future I will go active duty after I get my LCSW but as of right now I'm just gonna be a reservist and enjoy being a part-time part-time soldier <laughs> uh, question three why did you pick 25 Bravo as your MOS so that's sort of funny i did not go to the recruiting station i did not sorry not the recruiting station i did not go to maps thinking i was going to be a 25 bravo but that's just the way it worked out and i'm excited to learn new skill i'm nervous to learn new skill but i'm excited more so i think i will struggle at ait a little bit but i think i'll be okay um Question number four, what are your biggest fears about joining the military? Okay, so I'm a little worried about basic, slightly. Not really the whole experience, just the running part. Yeah, just the running part. Everything else, the yelling, the mind, whatever, all that I'm okay with. The running part is, is, is very scary to me. But... I am excited for it because I know that BASIC will improve me physically. Question number five, what do I think BASIC training will be like? Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it'll be a lot of suck, but it'll be a lot of new adventures, so I'm excited. Um, it'll be a lot of waking up early. I'm not excited about that. It'll be a lot of running. Like I said previously, I'm definitely not excited about that. But I will new, meet new people, do new things, like shoot a rifle. Never done that. Um, throw a grenade. That sounds fun. Um, but yeah, I think basic will be a lot of suck and a lot of new experience and a lot of fun. What is my dream duty station? Okay, so since I'm in the reserves, I haven't really thought about duty stations because we don't get sent anywhere guys the reservists don't get sent anywhere unless we get deployed but as an army spouse and a military brat I have been to Tampa Florida that's where my dad was stationed um I also he was also stationed in South Dakota I don't remember the post or the base Air Force um my husband was stationed at Fort Drum 
I went with them there. I went with him to Vilsack, Germany, and then we went to um, Honolulu, Hawaii. Out of those bases, my favorite was Hawaii and Germany are sort of tied. They're very different places. They were both beautiful. Um, I miss both of those places so much. I love Tampa, Florida. It is my hometown because I've lived here most of my life. Um, oh, God. Drum, Fort Drum, New York was freezing, but I really made the best of it. I think any base you go to, as long as you meet people and you experience new things, like just get out and do stuff. No matter if it's the middle of nowhere, like Fort Drum was really the middle of nowhere, but we made awesome. Like I had awesome friends who we went to Canada, like just do stuff. So, I mean, um, but if I had to say my dream duty station, it would be uh, anywhere anywhere overseas because I just want to experience different cultures if I do go active later um, I just want to experience different cultures and I really want to go overseas I don't know what base that would be but overseas somewhere <laughs> okay so question number seven where is the place you hope you don't get sent what do I want to get sent oh god um Probably like Alabama and like Louisiana because both those bases, I have not heard good things. I mean, I guess I'll make the best of it, but I don't want to go there. Yeah, that's it. Um, Question number eight, do you plan to stay in for 20 years? That is undecided, very undecided right now. I have been in for three months, haven't even gone to basic yet. So I don't know if I want to stay in for 20 years, but we will see. Uh, God only knows. Time will tell. 20 years is a long time. I don't know. We're going to definitely see. Um, do you know anyone in the Army now? I know a lot of people in the Army, yes. I know some people who are getting out of the Army. I know people who are joining the Army. I know people who are deployed right now. I know too many people in the Army. Um, yeah, I do know people in the Army. <laughs> uh, what advice would you give anyone thinking about joining um I would say you should watch my 10 things to do before you join the military video I would say you should watch that it comes with a lot of advice um I guess I'll put the link right there I hope it goes right there or right there I'm not, I think it's right there yeah I'll put the little card right there and below um I don't know. It's definitely life changing. It's a lot of challenges. Um, just be ready if you decide, and if you good in and you hate it, just deal with it for your contract and suck it up. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's it. I think that's all for all my questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other questions, anything military related, please let me know. I am new to this. Um. I'm a new to this reserve life. I do know a few things about the military. Not that I've experienced them all, but that's why I asked Army Princess. So if you want to know more about the military, about actually experiencing things in the military, like basic, please check out Army Princess's page because she has some great information. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching this video, and you guys have a blessed day. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. If you love this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell to see when I post new videos. Please comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. God bless.